previously on the No Beauty channel. Lovely mac and cheese. Do you remember that mac and cheese woman? And coming up, she has got a bum. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible thanks to our gorgeous patrons who get access to exclusive Garbo. And thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Cue the snafu! I'm sorry, but that's a girl. I can't see your That's a face. woman. Because you've moved the mirror over so much. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. Are we, are we, have we started? Yes. <laughs> I have to go. Yes, hello. And welcome Hi. to an all new Novimpia Treat. Starting girls! Oh, so do that. It's gonna hurt your throat. Oh, and it's a... Faves and shitters, I heard that. It is. What month are we? The monthly faves and shitters. I don't know. June, isn't April. it? April. Okay. We have to leave now. April. <laughs> that would explain why it's been raining so much. April showers. April showers. And just as a brief reminder to you, Nova really struggles to pronounce the word bald. What? Oh, this will be good. It was a bold <laughs> move, Nova, wasn't it? Say it. It was a bold move. From the bald man. From the bald man. <laughs> Boop. You're sick. You're sick in the, the head. The bold man was bold. Oh, no, he wasn't. <laughs> it's a faves and shitter, so we're going to ignore that she can't speak and talk about, what is it? Oh, three things that we currently like. Yeah. Three things that we don't currently oh, like. Three things that are a bit stinky. A bit PU. I tried to put on a PU dress today <gasps> and it didn't fit. <gasps> How much Why did you up? put on? It's oh, not no. my fault. It's too big for it now. didn't even fit a little bit. So then I went to where another dress which i own already didn't fit i just keep which getting is a really nice dress i might smaller have to, and smaller i might you have to like donate both of them keep getting bigger and bigger the pe one was cheap but the other one was actually a really nice dress of mine and i don't fit in any bloated stanky <laughs> worse for wear fat pig i think it's time for like a really cash and sexy segue into some other content before we proceed cash segs what did you just say Oh, yes. Well, what is uh, what is it? What do you want to say? What? Well, we should probably talk about today's sponsor. Sponsor of today's video. Oh, God, it's our friends at... I thought you were going to say it. Surfshark. Surf Surfshark. It's Surfshark. Okay, now look, we go to hotels once in a while when I can be bothered to get in the car. And sometimes, well, actually most of the time, we don't trust the people that work at the, the desk, do we? As will be evidenced by a shitter further down the line. Because she <laughs> was a tricky bitch. So we use Surfshark when we're out and about to protect ourselves. Basically, Surfshark is a VPN or a virtual private network that keeps you completely safe as you browse because it encrypts all the data set between your device and the internet. So there's no risk of your personal data being compromised. We have been in London this Sunday for London Eurovision Party, which has been really fun. And staying in a hotel, so we don't have to worry about the train st strikes and such. Um, and so, hotel Wi-Fi, always using Surfshark, because you never know what these hotels are doing with your data. Yeah, also, I don't know if I trust that lady at the front desk. No. You <laughs> stole my data. <laughs> Who would want it? Oh, you'd find some very naughty things, oh, yes. I'll turn this off now, cheers, thanks. And if that's not enough, you can also use Surfshark to switch your real-world location with a completely new one. So it doesn't matter which country you're in, you can use Surfshark to change your territory, and then you'll immediately have access to different content on your favourite streaming platforms, like okay. Prime, okay. Now TV, Hulu. Oh, uh, which is also great if you're like us and you go really hard for Eurovision, because they have got servers in over 100 countries. Oh, as another example, if you are watching us right now from the US of A, you can get Surfshark I can switch your location to the UK and then you get more content on Netflix like RuPaul's Drag Race. Which we never were on, were we? Didn't go on it. Mm. Did we go on it? We've personally used Surfshark in the past to get better prices on airline tickets, but you can also use it to hide your internet traffic from your ISP. And it's also available on all of your devices with unlimited logins. There is absolutely no risk in just trying Surfshark because they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're looking for a brand new VPN or looking to upgrade the piece of crap one you've already got, then check out the link in the description box below. By using our code NOVIMPIA, you can get three extra months for free so check out the link in the description box below and thank you again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Oh cheers and sayonara. Do you want to start? No people get weirded out when you start. People what comment. Get weirded they out? say it's f***ed up when you start. I'm doing a fave. Faves. Are you gonna start? I'm so excited. How's everyone been? I look great. <laughs> okay my first one okay. is X-Men 97. Is this a bit too forward, this outfit for today? It's very, very titty titty, Bo booby titty. I'd like to think boob. it's more sort of madam. 
<laughs> so this is a new animated TV series on Disney Plus, which is a revival slash sequel to the X-Men animated series that aired between 1992 mm -hmm. and 1996, I believe. It's very clever. So they've called this X-Men 97. Oh my god, of course! I never watched the original series. I remember it being on, but I was very much like as a kid, I saw this as like being for boys and I wasn't really into it. Which is hysterical because it's the gayest boys. thing. Ever. Yeah, but boys. But I wasn't really into, unless it was like, like city anime girls, I wasn't really into like comic book characters as a child. So I never watched this. But I'm in like an X Men phase at the moment. I've been re watching all the movies. That's my only exposure to the franchise is the live action films with Halle Berry. There's too many Patrick of those. Stewart. Oh, there's so bloody many of them. They're good though. No. They're better than I remember. <laughs> So I'm busy re-watching those, and then I saw that this was on Disney Plus. It's weekly releases, which I really like, because I feel like we're losing that in the moment with streaming. Sure. Things just, just, just get released all That's at once. That's a bit different, isn't it? That's a bit so unusual. So I really like a weekly release. We're five episodes in so far, and it's so great. It's so great. There's characters that I'm not familiar with, like Jubilee, I don't remember being in the live action. Morph, I don't remember being in the live action. And what is his name? Patrick Stewart. <laughs> Gambit. Yeah, I don't remember being in the live action. Maybe they were later on. It's I'm really funny enjoying though, it. That it's for boys. Well, it's, it's an not act for boys. Got that's typical how city I, boys. That's how I used to see it. Cocky boys. Typical sporty boys. Typical city boys. I really enjoy as well how like the X Men are just sluts. There are so many like love triangles, everyone's sleeping with each other, it's very very tangled up the relationships and I love the drama, it's so fun. Oh she lives for the drama don't you? Especially on Twitter, can't get her off it. Very very boingy breath, no Brazil then. Not today. We just come as mad sluts today. Thank Look you, at us. Look at us. Mine don't move. The whole <laughs> house did though. The whole house. Yeah, I heard that. Subsidence probably. Look at us. Mine don't move. The whole <laughs> house did though. The whole house. Yeah. So X Men ninety seven. Yeah, get into Love it. Love that. Also, it's got First a all, great theme song. Get into it. Do 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 it's One great. night when I'm all alone, no. sat there waiting by the phone. Do you know the comments on that? All of them. Olivia brought me here. Did you spray oh. perfume? Yeah. What is wrong with you? Haven't you? Well, I'm not some sort of filthy pervert. Well, they can't smell. It's all smell of vision. So I like to f I like to put perfume on when I'm getting ready. I think it's nice. Aren't you weird? No, I like to smell nice. You got to smell nice. You stink of it. <laughs> you stink. Okay, do you want to wear my my first fave? I dread Get into this. this pool cleaning videos on YouTube. Cleaning a swimming pool. Love it. <laughs> I love it. I love everything about pool cleaning videos. Now get into this. Oh, what's the guy's name? Guy Cuny. There's one I watched in particular. It's very, very sweet. It's a group of lads. They're real lads. Lads. They'll wear caps. They probably boys, watch that city boys. When they were kids. Group of typical London city boys. <laughs> Stop it. Typical city boys. Typical cocky boys. Stop it. <laughs> Like stupid boys. And they just clean swimming pools. They have a company. I think he's called the Pool Guy. That's not I can't remember. Crazy name, is it? No, but don't be so rude. And basically, they go into people's gardens and it's usually like grandmas on her last legs. With permission? Do the people know they're doing this? You would think so. They're there for or days. Or is it like those TikTokers that like go into cemeteries and like just clean, clean it? What? Who's doing that? That's so annoying, isn't I it? I don't know. It's quite sweet. Is it though? It is, but it's also like they're shut just doing up. it for TikTok. Yeah, shut up though. You know, grandma is really on her last legs. Most of them are, aren't they? So the pool's not been cleaned in like 20 years. It look, There's like bushes and shrubbery in the pool and they clean it. Lovely. Okay. They'll suck it all out. Big old generator, suck it all out, clean it, jet washer. There's a lot of things in this that I think people can really get into for some sort of relaxing content. A jet washer. And he wants water sports. I really don't know why you're so reluctant to play Power Wash Simulator. Because it's not like a real one. But I think that looks so satisfying. I don't know. And I you can do the Croft Manor. I only want to do somersaults in Croft Manor. I don't want to clean it. <laughs> water sports. Pool cleaning videos. Get into it. Stop it. Shut up. Get into pool cleaning. A big task, but it's nothing we can't handle. My God, Dorothy, it must be 120 in here. <laughs> well, we've been doing a lot of that, haven't we? There's also the dog grooming lady, but I'm not talking about I her love today. that. I'm not talking about her today. She doesn't give a shit, does she? She holds the pins them down. She has to. She's She'll very get good with them. She knows lots what to of do. Comments she knows what she from, can get away with and what she can't get away with. From the RSPCA, etc. We don't know how she's going to behave for the blow dryer. What is that? Okay, so my shitter is new things 
in vintage stores. <laughs> Hate it. I, would you like to sit down and maybe brainstorm some ideas for yourself? No, I want to. I want to talk about this. So, if you're in a vintage store or a kilo store, my story is going to be specifically about like oh. Brick Lane. Might as well have utter shite written above there. Come in and get it because that is what it is. Brick Lane. We went to Brick Lane. Didn't like we? there's stores in a market and everything's like quite spenny because this stuff is worth money because it's Alibaba's pants. Vintage. Vintage, real leathers, yeah. real old things. I don't want to be seeing stuff in there from ASOS, from <laughs> Boohoo, from Pretty Little Thing. I don't want to be seeing stuff in there marked oh, up. And it drives me mad, it's Sheen. so cheeky. So we were in Brick Lane recently and there was this really, really nice boutique store. I don't think they were claiming to be vintage, but it was kind of like upscaled clothing. So I cannot remember the name of it, but it was a lot of like leather Leather jackets and jeans with graffiti on and it looked really really cool and I was so like drawn in by this and I picked up a few items and I was considering it and then I saw the color of that bra on a hanger a top that I have from she Shein did. and I know that Shein does designer knockoffs I know that Shein copies designers well, it's, all shit. it's all shit this was not a copy this was the Shein one I checked the label I bought it for three pounds <laughs> and it was 65 pounds on this hanger 65 pounds. I put it right back and I walked my ass out of that store. I was like, I'm not spending my money here. How much is this, Marie? It's very expensive. It's very expensive. It's just so yeah, but, cheeky. Yeah, but that's, that's just our Patreon though, isn't it? <laughs> what? Like people are really overcharged for stuff they can just get for free by doing it at home. Well, if they want to do it themselves at home, sure. We won't. We haven't got to talk about that though. Cut that out. Everything else looks so cool. Why is there a three pound sheen and top then in there for you didn't want to buy in any of the rest of it? No. You know what though? So much of that is just do it yourself. You can do it. You get a t like a tie dye t shirt. Like no, really but this wasn't customized or upscaled at all. It was as it was. You unimaginable bastard. What's it was just on the hanger. Because they had like sunglasses with cack on them, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They had loads of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But this had no customization done to it. That sucks for Furious. you, doesn't it? But you see it a lot. Sucks. My first shitter. Oh, I don't think I have the strength. Is the TV show Blown Away. <laughs> it is shitter. on Netflix a shitter nova. We haven't watched it. It recently, is on Netflix we? and it is a competition reality show. And you know, it it's was. It's a bake off format. It was part of that wave of, okay, if something exists, we can make a competition around it. The sewing bee, the pottery one. 12 contestants, three finalists, and one winner. This is a search for the next big serial killer. This is about glass blowing. First of all, people that blow glass are in some sort of weird club that I don't want anything to do with those people. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with them. The way they talk about glass, the way they sort of like gatekeep glass. And I don't understand the judging at the end because we'll all be like, that one looks sick. And they'll oh, be yeah, like- we never agree with the, the judges. The judges will be like, this is terrible. And then they'll give first place to just like a fucking dribble of glass on a plate with some like shit sprinkled on it. It just looks atrocious. I think a lot of it is that they reward technical things that we don't recognize. What is that? But also, it's so stressful because nine times out of ten they'll have spent all day in the blow shop what do they call it the hot shop the blow shop the hot shop the hot seat the blow seat i don't know what they call it <laughs> the it's, blow like, seat. it's like a workshop and they call it something because they're all in the know uh, you know like people do that don't like tattoo artists are the same if you're in some sort of a lot of hands in my face this video i'm very I'm, I'm really into this at the moment i must i must be and i must be heard and i need to know that i'm being heard <laughs> And I need to know that I'm being heard. In the blow piece. In the blow piece. In your ring piece. Shut up. <laughs> What's happening? Don't say ring piece. I can see the brain do you cells remember? Like, just falling out of your mouth. Do you remember when someone... <laughs> Do you remember when someone was selling that porcelain like cherub and it was like, on eBay and it was like little Irish lad shows off his ring piece. <laughs> no, I don't remember. <laughs> I remember that. I Very almost, altered. I almost bought it. Sorry, we had a drink with lunch. Um... <laughs> They will be in that shop and nine times out of ten, they'll have spent all afternoon working on a glass piece and they bring it out and it smashes over the floor. It's so stressful to watch. It's just not an enjoyable program. It's it's really, really tense. I love it when they break. The next big serial killer. I don't know. I understand there's a certain amount of reality show, uh, reality TV production, having been on one, <laughs> where you're not allowed to come across as sort of insecure in certain places. Do you remember they, they make you yeah. say all these arrogant they things? They did not like I'm anything the best. stuck 
self-deprecating because no, no, they no. want you to be taking the competition it's a seriously. It's a competition, so you've got to be like, I'm the best, I'm going to sweep the floor with everyone, I'm incredible. I just think as a viewer sometimes it comes off as annoying when people are like that, just be f***ing honest, no one cares. So that side of it's annoying, all the shit breaks all the time, it's annoying, the judging makes no sense, and that one bitch who makes the eggs all the time, she keeps shitting out eggs. Do you remember that one? Do you remember her? Yes. The winner, do you remember the winner, that weird woman? What is that? With the fringe. Yeah, it makes the eggs. She used to make eggs, didn't she? That was her thing. She just like make glass I eggs. Don't remember. How do you not remember the egg woman? How difficult is it to make an egg? And then she shows. You just go. Oh. Go. I guess that's go on done. Then. Go on then. Go and blow me an egg. <laughs> you haven't got a clue how to do that. These are nice nails. I could do that. I really like these. The colours are a bit off. But Nova's wearing a stiletto, which never happens. It never happens, does it? Guess how much these were. We're using a green screen shortly, so that's not great. I don't know, 79 pence. This is a song. This is my heartbeat song. This is a fave song. This is a fave song. Jojo Siwa, calm as a bitch. <laughs> Absolutely not. You hear about sexual harassment on TV, and it makes the headlines in newspapers. This is Forget About Us by Perry from Little Mix. Her debut single, Perry's the Blonde One from Little Mix, for people who don't know or care. And um, Little Mix went on like, did they go on hiatus or did they just break up? I Holiday. don't know. A little while ago. And we've had solo music from Leanne. And now we've got the debut from Perry. We haven't had Jade yet. But this is called Forget About Us. And it's the first track of her new album. And it was just really unexpected genre for me. I was not... I wasn't ready. I don't know what I was imagining. I think I was imagining something a bit more like Little Mix type. And this is almost country influenced. It's just a really nice, nice. light, easy breezy pop song. I think the country influence gives it a bit of soul that I wasn't necessarily expecting. She's got a lovely voice. It's a beautiful home. It was clean. We don't have a music video yet, but the visuals are very, like, summery, and it's just easy to listen to. Again, you've had it on a fair amount. Just unexpected. I think it's a nice one, actually. It's not something that you could, like, do a choreographed dance to, for instance, which is what I was expecting. I was expecting something more, like, classic. <laughs> girl group style classic bop. and this is very different to that so i'm excited to see if the rest of the album is like this if this is just like a one-off it's just a nice song you I had it, you, you listen to it listen to it the first time and then we did cleaning that day and you played it about five times in the same day and really killed it i think <laughs> really killed it because there was that one part where it came on again and you ran over to turn it off oh yeah i've killed trifle buns <laughs> I not killed those them. in a while, have we? I killed them because the last time I had them, I was like mid mouth and I went, oh no. <laughs> what is it, my fave? Okay, I this one's we weird. This one's so weird. I don't know what I was doing. <sighs> don't sigh at me, please. Aren't we a duo in this together? Aren't we a team? Sure. I'll need your full support. I can't remember it. <laughs> When I was, you know, a wee nipper, sort of 15 years ago when I was an infant, I used to listen to cassette tapes. So you know that's a lie. <laughs> I put a day in for about 75. I used to f***ing love cassette tapes. I'd have loads and loads of them. I would have The Worst Witch by Jill Murphy. Okay, so like audio books on cassette. Audio books on cassette tapes. That was in 1887. I had The Worst Witch, which Jill Murphy's probably owed a few bob from the Harry Potter people, if you really I think. had George's Marvelous Medicine. I had that. Set. Well, that is and a very I nice... I had a reading of Rapunzel. Oh, that's gay, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> so my fave is the Roald Dahl Theatre Collection on cassette. Now these are dramatic readings with music and different actors and stuff on cassette tape from the 80s. It might be like 82. And I had them when I was a wee nipper and I found them because someone's put them on YouTube. I can't believe it. So I've listened back to my favorites, which were Danny Champion of the World. Olympia. Champion of the World by Roald Dahl. Right. And the BFG. What's that? There's something coming up the other side of the street. Right. I did have The Witches, but I didn't like that one. Like, I love The Witches. I think the, the movie with Angelica Houston is great. Isn't Roald Dahl a bit of a villain? Oh, probably. 
But then Disney was a, a Disney was a villain. They're all villains. Disney was a villain. Probably in the same way you're thinking about Roald Dahl. And the funny thing is, I went through the comments on these, and it was all the same people. Some of them are a bit older than me. I must admit. Some of them are like, I'm in my 40s now, and I was just like, Whoa, Natalie. <laughs> Whoa. And they were like, I used to listen to this as a kid, and I can't believe someone's uploaded these. They are so great. And it was weird how I can remember and like preempt like how people are going to say the lines and stuff because I used to listen to them all the time. You fucking loser. And I just think if you want something nice for your afternoon, Danny Champion of the World and the BFG, the best ones. The Roald Dahl Theatre Collection on cassette. She looks like she's uh, had a hard life. I was never a massive fan of the BFG. They were the boy ones though. Typical city boy. The Danny Champion of the World, that's a boy one for boys. You listen to Rapunzel because you're a big dirty little pig boy. <laughs> I liked the giraffe of Pelly and me. Oh yeah, the enormous crocodile was another one. Yeah. Loved that. I loved her. She was not very good at eating animals, was she? Also liked Fantastic Mr. Fox. Oh no, I didn't like that one. I think it's your shitter. Speaking of, you just mentioned Disney. I did, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, I know what this is gonna be. I finally got around to watching Wish. <laughs> didn't get a chance to watch it in the theater. <sighs> Nobody would go with me. And I couldn't really be asked to make the effort because the reviews were so bad. Well, thank God. So I thought I would just wait for it to hit streaming and I'll watch it when it hits streaming. It finally hit streaming. <sighs> Where do you start with this one then? The bins! I've said before that like, I really don't like to be swayed too much by reviews and critical responses and just try to make my own opinion. And I can't tell you how surprised I was that this was actually bad, because I was fully expecting to like it despite all the bad reviews. I thought, how bad can it be? It's a Disney princess animated musical. Dog shit is the answer. I think the art style does not come across how they want it to. They're clearly trying to go for this 2D, 3D blend and it just ends up looking like a draft rendering, like it's unfinished. It does not look finished. It looks low budge. The music is so nothing and the lyrics are so... Well, why do I feel so weighed down? Diabetes. Bad. It's just so poorly written. Oh, you're not going to bring up that one thing again. Oh, anyone who will listen, she talks to you about Well, there's that one line in the main song. And throw caution to every warning sign. But if you throw caution to a warning sign, you're quite literally paying attention to it. You're being cautious of the warning sign. It makes no sense. Stupid. Because it was like a 100th anniversary film, there's lots of self-references to other Disney properties throughout the film, lots of Easter eggs, but they are so heavy handed and in your face. There's no fun in trying to spot them. They're just there. Oh, there's that one. Oh, there's the apple from Snow White. Oh, these characters are supposed to be the seven dwarves, aren't they? Because they're literally wearing the same clothes. It's just, there's no subtlety or nuance. It's so in your face. And the very, very, very final scene, we get a zoom out of the castle and I rolled my eyes so far in the back of my head. There's this little character that's just a star, just a cute star, obviously meant for merchandise that like flies around. And we get fireworks behind the castle and all of a sudden a Mickey shape appears. And this star, I shit you not, goes right up to the camera and winks. <laughs> yeah, I've got it. I can't. It was, it was bad. Oh, I've got it. It was really bad, which was really sad. I haven't got it. I haven't got it. <laughs> I was waiting for a long time for this film because it's nice to see another princess of colour. And I remember looking at the concept art and being really excited, but it was, it was bad. If I could show them everything. My next shitter is, ah, uh, when you wake up in the morning and your arm's got pins and needles. Ah, oh, I hate that. How do you st Okay. Yeah, you have to be like- You have to sort of do it. You have to sort of do like a windmill, like a, you know, that one redacted drag queen that we don't talk about anymore. And all she did was that one move. Mm -hmm. How, why was she, how did she even get cast? Very limited set of skills. Anyway, she's a villain, so it's fine. Hey guys, I'm Crystal. They probably they might know. Anyway, I have a real issue with like where to put my arms in bed. Because Nova's such a flaily bitch. She's so selfish and takes up all the goddamn space. I'm always like in the corner going, oh, see, like this That's is me. Not this true is me without my gloves. <sighs> That's not true. This was me without my gloves. <laughs> cold and like set a, a drifter on the other side of the bed. You and know I, you can get those mattresses that have like the gaps in them. To dividers. Like yeah. Oh wait, gaps. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they have like vertical like lines so you can like <gasps> put your arm in. Oh my God. We should get one of those then. Can we get one of those? Well, I don't know how comfortable How do you put a sheet on? on one of those? You can't do that. 
Well, I imagine it's just like... Oh, I bet those mattresses are dirty as you like. Stinky mattresses, because you can't put a sheet on them. Why would you not be able to put a sheet on them? Well, then, if you put a sheet on it, how do you, you how do you use the lines to put your arm in? I'm not sure. You see my point. I think it's partly being a little bit of a heifer. <laughs> Secondly, I sometimes, like, don't know where to put my arms and stuff. And I'll wake up in the morning, I'll just be like... <laughs> me half my body is asleep i must have had a stroke in the middle of the night so i sit on the edge of the bed and just sort of go oh yeah god another day alive more of the same then and it takes f***ing ages and that pins and needles sensation is horrible i hate it thanks for the medicare <laughs> that's what you get though for sleeping <laughs> yeah but you have to sleep don't you, what you, you get to. for sleeping so you know there's certain things where it's like your body just turns on you and it's just like f***ing stop it you know what I mean? I hate pins and needles. Also, I googled this. Apparently there's no, not that I could see, medical term for pins and needles. Oh, really? It's just called a tingling sensation, which you it's know, like sometimes when blood isn't, flow's restricted, isn't it? Isn't a bad thing. It's compressed nerves, I read. Compressed nerves? Yeah. So which might have something with... to do with blood. Well, yeah, because oh. when you sort of take the pressure off it, it's fine, isn't it? But it's compressed I nerves. I thought there's something to do with like blood flow. And I know for a fact you've got a nerve. Is it a fave now? It's a fave. Who is this is my last fave. Oh, I should go get it. Do you remember when we used to show stuff off? What is it? Are you really going to go and get it, or are you actually just going to go to like the bathroom? No, oh, maybe get it. Because you do like to leave the room. She's left me. She takes up all the space in the bed. Who are you, Deirdre? That's the name I gave her. This is a makeup thing that I bought recently. I am a big fan of a lot of the Beauty Bay branded stuff. They have a line, a range of makeup products with their own branding on. Generally speaking, everything that I've tried, I've really liked. And okay. it's all like really- Just nasty. Reasonably priced. Okay. And their eyeshadow formulas in particular, I don't think can be beaten for that price range. They're so good, they're so blendable. Will it blend? That is the question. <laughs> And they've got such a wide range of eyeshadow palettes and they just brought out a new one called the Smoky Palette. And I bought this, I can't remember how much I paid for it. It, might, it was less than 30 quid. I think it was like 26 or 27 pounds. And it arrived and I didn't realize that I accidentally bought the bundle with the mini palette as well. And it was still less than 30 pounds with these two palettes. And, and she wouldn't is, give me this one. This is <laughs> a 42 color palette. And I'll show you... The tight bitch wouldn't even give me the little one. So it's all neutrals. It's like greys, browns, and there's some really nice shimmers in there. There's a black, there's a white. And I like this small one because this is really good for travelling. Because it's just like... How often some does of she the same travel? Colors. She needs it. She could have just given it to me. She didn't want to. No! So tight. <laughs> I've never known someone so tight. You can buy it. You can shove it. But this is really, really good for boy makeup when I'm doing like a smoky eye or going out. I like a little shimmer on the lid. I don't like to use shimmers in drag because I feel like it brings that texture where you don't want to. But I like a shimmery lid as a boy. And there's some really, really nice shimmers. What kind of boy? That fairy colour there is really nice with the inner corner. Fairy, that says a lot. So yeah, the smoky palette. What kind of boy are you being in this? <laughs> what do you mean? Like a gay boy. boy. City boy. <laughs> Cocky boys. <laughs> Typical city boys. That's lovely. That is I a nice really one. I would recommend, really recommend it. I have also another 42 colour palette from Beauty Bay. It's their matte brights, which I use a lot as well. I know you people probably wouldn't think think so because I look like such a 10. Three. But like, I don't really care for makeup. Like sometimes I like to just... I don't experiment that all that much. I sort of just stick with the same stuff over and over again. You'll occasionally wear like some eyeliner as a boy. Oh yeah, but then that's just black, isn't it? And I just sort of grind it in. Yeah. Yeah, just like quick and dirty. That's good then, isn't it? Faves yeah. for you. Oh, oh, my last fave then. Is it the last one already? Carol Vorderman. Okay. I love Carol. I love everything about she Carol. She's good. Not only is she a f***ing I mean, maths. If you're good at maths, She's I genius. find that very, very impressive, first of all. Did you write she this down when we saw those, those coding books in the service station? No. Remember that. <laughs> Not only is she good at maths, she has got a bum that you could bounce a £10 note off of, mind you. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Carol. Hello, yeah. Carol. Oh, she's looking a bit ropey now. Yeah, she, she is, yeah. She's so phrase. hot. She's so hot. A bum. What? What's the phrase? You, you bounce a 10p piece or a pound coin. You don't bounce a paper uh, note. Most you people, you bounce a coin, but hers is that good. It's a note. You just 
but shoots right off. Gave someone a paper cut once. I'm really excited about this year's Pride of Britain Awards. She also, she calls out the Tories all the time. If, yeah. if there's a Tory politician that's like, uh, excuse me, Angela Rayner, Labour, she spent, what, a thousand pounds on like something she shouldn't have done. And she's got a radio show at LBC and she was like, oh, okay, if you want to play it by that, let's talk about that's 1,500 pounds. Let's call that an Angela Rayner unit. How many Angela Rayner units did Rishi Sunak spend on something? This other f- her and she goes through it and she's like... Then we go to the VIP helicopter contract, which Ben Wallace was cancelling. Sunak intervened and kept it. 40 million quid, 26,667 Angela Rayner units. I am absolutely <laughs> incensed. Lois, my darling. OK, so this waste of time contract the government spent money on is 2,000 Angela Rayner so units. Smart. She doesn't miss a f-ing thing. Yeah. She's so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> she's so smart. She just is, she's like tearing shit down. Carol's um, had an accident. This isn't home like home alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor Carol. And it's a shame she's not still on countdown because her replacement is a BI. She's a fing <laughs> Oh my god. I'll bleep that, but she is. Do you know who you know no. who I'm talking about? Rachel Riley. Oh, I didn't know that she was on She's countdown. countdown, isn't she? I'm sure she is. Oh no, I She's idea. the countdown bird. Yeah, she is. Since when? I suck. For years. I didn't know Carol's that. not done it. For years. I mean, She's I, been out I there. I don't watch Countdown. She left. She had it's to leave Countdown. I get really upset because I can never do it. Because she's become something of like a, a superhero, Carol. What's fingering? Uh, but she'd look great as Catwoman. That's not misogynist. She looks f***ing sick. She's just so hot. She's so hot, Carol. Get yours. I hope someone slips it to Carol all the time. <laughs> I really hope she's living her best life because yeah, she does so much. She, it. she does so much. And she released some kids' books teaching them how to do coding. Yeah. What an absolute winner. <laughs> I love you, Carol. I love Carol. Carol Vorderman. Vibly ring her. Final round of shitters, please, no? Okay, so whatever happened to fair dealing to the great British institution of an all-day breakfast. <laughs> oh okay, I now this is interesting, isn't it? Because I told Nova to make a note about this. Do you want to tell them about the saga? Well, let me tell you what an Odyssey that has been. Rose <laughs> decided she wanted lavender. Mother. We were staying at a hotel in London for some reason, I can't remember why, and we wanted to have breakfast at the hotel. Nowhere in this hotel did it say what time breakfast ended, but checkout was at 11, so we got down to, for like 10 o'clock. And I feel like that's an acceptable time for it breakfast at It was 20 at a hotel. past 10. I remember this vividly. Okay. Because the woman was a right cow. Cow! <laughs> And I googled it beforehand because it was written nowhere in the hotel. There was a menu with no times on it. We weren't told times when we checked in. So I googled it and it said that breakfast ended at 11. Yep. So we went down there and we were told that no, breakfast had ended already. Because it and was, I was a like, weekday. I thought it ended at 11. Uh -huh. Not on a weekday. Ends at 10 on a weekday. Who and she... Breakfast at 10. I'm sorry, but this woman was a sick bitch because I literally was just like, oh, where do we go for breakfast? And she went, ooh... Oh, I am so sorry, but you've missed it. Oh. We're awfully sorry, you missed it. <laughs> God, you've missed it. Yeah, I'm so, my hands are tied. You can't have it tied. <laughs> she was sick. I feel like the fact that they've not got the time written down anywhere just means that they make it up every day as so they go along. She was so satisfied because she knew we were peckish, and she. So, anyway, that was the first like be in my bonnet bitch, bitch. we then said it's fine we'll just stop somewhere on the way home and we'll have breakfast then so we went to a service station fleet services name the f***ers and they have i remember we've had before they have a food outlet bit that i can't remember what it's called the good breakfast or something and I they just called the good breakfast it's just like a buffet of like breakfast items and you, they just serve it to you and we've had it before and it was really really good and we got there at what time was it maybe 11 45 yeah and they had stopped serving it stopped serving it stopped serving it 10 o'clock in the morning stopped serving it 11 o'clock in the morning and we got there at 11 45. afternoon goes from 12 o'clock in the afternoon 
Anyway, I was absolutely beside myself. Like, people want breakfast all the time, especially in like service stations. All the time. Who doesn't want bacon and eggs? Who the hell doesn't love macaroni? We should and clarify sausage. though, for maybe American viewers and, and sort of outside, like a like an English breakfast. I mean, yeah, you can get this all around the world, but like a traditional English breakfast like a in the sense of yeah, like sausage, bacon, egg. I beans, want to be able to have like bacon browns, and eggs and yeah. hash browns whenever the f I want them. So we went to well, don't. That sounds a bit Veruca Salt, doesn't it? Don't care how I want it now. It's wibbly ring it. Oh, and then Nova ordered a breakfast yesterday, day before, to the house, like from a nice place. And they, she'd accidentally ordered a, a real meat one. That was my mistake. So Nova bought meat. <laughs> That was my mistake. Yeah, so Nova has like the worst luck with breakfasts apparently. And she loves well, a breakfast. Generally speaking, I just cook my own breakfasts. I quite like Yeah, but it's better when someone else does avocados it. with yeah. eggs, yeah. bit of feta now I like to put on she, sometimes. Nova, I don't know if people are aware of this, but Nova goes so ham for breakfast. I'm gonna get 12 eggs and part of a dead animal. I love a breakfast. She lives for breakfast. Her favorite thing in the world, breakfast. <laughs> and it's always the most, I mean, I'll just have an old sort of end of shit. I'll. I'll Old sort of end of shit. Old sort of end of shit. And it'll be like, or like a little half a grain or something. And Nova will have like this absolute buffet for herself. Yeah, I like a breakfast. My final shitter is when you meet someone and you don't know if you have to like kiss them or shake the hand or something. And it's really <laughs> awkward for a few seconds where you're like, oh, um, oh, nice to sort of meet you. And I will say, this is also going to be a little bit of a shit on Nova. Nova is also, apart from being a lover of breakfast, she hugs absolutely any old f in the street. She hugs him. Left, right, and says, oh, the plumber will come in. Oh, nice to meet you. Gives him a hug. Doesn't matter who they are. Could be the bitch on the, on the cash That's not true. register in Tesco. Nova will hug him. She hugs everyone. That's not true. And there's a group, two groups meeting for the first time, some friends to get acquainted. So I'm perfectly prepared to start the ball rolling. If Nova then starts and hugs someone, then it's like everyone's got to hug each other or then it'll just come across as rude because Nova's gone too far. <laughs> Nova goes too far. She hugs everyone, Nova, and it's just like, oh, I don't do that. I don't want to hug. Get off me. But you know, and it's some Sometimes it gets a bit weird. You're just like, oh God, I have to kiss this absolute wildebeest. <laughs> just don't kiss them. What are you talking about? But then it's like, is a handshake too formal? Oh, well. You guys will know what I'm talking about. This is I not generally just me. think a handshake is weird. It depends who it is. Well, of course it depends who it is. Or who are we meeting where a handshake is appropriate? An employee, Nova. You meet them for like an interview and you do like an interview and you meet, you shake their hand, you don't hug them. That's a sexual harassment case waiting for you. <laughs> If you're meeting somebody for the first time, you shake the hand, and it's like a straight man. Then, like, sure, you shake your hand. But if you're also meeting their wife, who is just giving you a hug, like it, and so, it's just weird not to also. I'm hug not them. saying a hug is not appropriate sometimes, sure, but neither hugs everyone. It's so weird. What do you do if someone does this to you? They do this, don't they? Some people. What? Put your hand up. Put your hand up now. Oh yeah. Nice to meet you. What the f is that? Exactly. And then they'll, they'll just be like, oh, nice to meet you. And then they'll slap you on the back. That's a real straight person, this thing. Don't look at my nails. They're so bad. Moment. I don't know what happened. So, so you don't have a clue. You're not a real person in the real world. Because that <laughs> some men do that. That's a mad men do that. And some lesbians do it. I don't think so. Yeah, they do. They'll be like, oh, go on, do it again. Do it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you, bro, buddy. <laughs> They do that, and then you're like, oh, what do we, what do, we do now? Like, what's the next part of the dance? <sighs> Meeting people. Basically, I, I don't think you overthink these things. I, I'm not the only person that overthinks things, first of all. Every, there's so many so many people that will be watching this, and they'll be like, oh, I hate when you meet someone, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's it's just not that serious, is I it? Swear. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! What, what do you do? What do you do? do that. What do you do? Not that. Sometimes it's weird, and I had this aunt once, and she used to like kiss me on square on the mouth, and it was like, oh god. Well, that's gross. I also had an aunt who used to do that. Why? Don't touch me. I'd like to thank everyone for coming for today's faves and shitters. I'm starring very attacked now. Starring your girls. I liked that one. That seemed good. Some of them are awful. Sitting down. Right. I liked that one. It seemed like there was a so nice array, awful. a nice array. There'll be plenty that people can latch on to. I think in particular, people are going to really appreciate that I finally have had the the confidence to come out and say when you first meet people it can be sweaty and weird. I haven't really had the confidence. I've always yeah, thought but that. like I don't I've know always... why you're like yeah. your your internal monologue is 
I can't believe you've done this. Handshake or hug. Like or it's kiss. so awkward, isn't uh, it? Oh, it's the worst. And saying goodbye to people sometimes, like, okay, but we we now know each other. Like, how well do we know each other? Do you go in for a quick kiss and then you end up slipping? It also depends how much alcohol tip. has been consumed. Yeah, no, you can't do that. I don't know you that well. I don't I know. Like family. And oh, like God. friends of family, it's generally family. acceptable to hug people. Family is going to be on my shit at this. <laughs> Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark. Yeah. God, if, I'm hungry. Yeah. Hell. If you fancy us, which I'm sure you probably do, especially God, I mean, look Where at is this state. going now? Ow, my testicle just got caught out. <gasps> oh, Jesus, that really hurt. That'll serve me right. What are you wearing that made your Shh. testicle get caught? One of those little chastity things. <laughs> not really. I'm not really. Not that there's anything wrong with that. The question still subscribe. remains. Subscribe. Subscribe. Just knickers. Just naughty knickers. <gasps> Just stop it. Subscribe if you like this. And also, we have a Patreon, don't we, Nova? Yeah. And if you'd like to head over there to check out what's happening over there... You can, and there'll be an address for that arriving on screen just now. Well, what's happening down there? No! What you gonna do with all that ash? Stop looking at my lady bits. <laughs> when you have, you know, junk that's as sizable as mine, no, but you have to be careful with it or it can get caught. Just stop it! Right. We'll just have a twitch. Oh, that really hurt. You know, sometimes, yeah, and then you get that, like, Pain in your stomach, like a stomach ache, because you've hurt a bollock. Twitch, join us for game night. Thank you. No one's watching anymore. Yes, they, they all are. Turned off yes, they are. Talking about your no, balls. they turned on. No, they all turned off. Oh, with some birthday shout outs too. Here you go. Nova made a real cock up with some of these. <laughs> Why do you always blame it on me? Well, just what have you done? Do a better job. Just get the job done. Just get the job done. <laughs> Some of the patrons get birthday shout outs, Nova, including. But I'll limit it to. For March 26th, Elgarian. Happy birthday, Elgarian. I will find a clip for that, for Elgarian. Oh, it's from the Green Mile. What would you look in at? Elgarian. There you see, that was a clip. Happy birthday, Elgarian. Because I put in clips down for the names. From the Green Mile. There was one in the Green Mile called Elgarian. For March 29th, Wendy. Happy birthday, Wendy. Um, I'm sorry that, we that that Nova missed you off, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. So she will now sing a song for you with your name in it. Wendy. God, she's so bendy. You're sh you should be I doing this. I didn't the mess her off. Your teeth, Nova, quick. Do you want to sort those out? And I'll sing a song to Wendy. Wendy. I have been checking. Oh, God, you're so bendy. And also Hindi. Which is good if somebody needs a handy person. I wonder how long that's been there for. For April 3rd, Jackie. Happy birthday, Jackie. Happy birthday, Jackie. Well, we know what clip that's going to be. Yes, I'm going to make an extra special clip there. <laughs> Jackie, help me. For the 9th of April, it's Mark Hall's birthday. Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. Mark. And then on the 10th, we have Brian's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Brian. Hello, it's my darling. We have Rory's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Rory. Rory. <laughs> and we have Dorina's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Dorina. Dorina Pina, mm. which is a lovely name, isn't it? That was my, that was not flatulence. We're going to go now. Thank you for coming. Look out for some more of this next week. How much, how long have I had lipstick on my teeth for? How long's the video? <laughs> it's about 37 minutes. You've had it on your lips for about 38 minutes. <laughs> Lips. Oh, you're on your teeth. Yeah. Oh, the joke still worked, sort of. Oh shit! I think made a right for yourself. Oh, I ruined it, didn't I? Wow. And a typical city boy to our brand new patrons: Adam Martin, Sam Rooney, Josiah Coleman, Charlie Sands, Sam and Liv, Andrew Roadball, Nicola Kent, and Carney Kisses. I really enjoy looking at your boobs from the side because you can just see, like, the illusion is just broken and you can see everything that's going on. Well, it's a good job they're looking from the front, then, isn't it? Yeah, it's also, very stop good job. staring at me, you pervert. <laughs> Join the Patron. We'll do a shot of Patron. <laughs>